Hello, this is Luke. Uh, this is my first ever video. Uh, and I'm just gonna be um, going through my iTunes movie catalog uh, on my Apple TV. I've seen some other people do this. Uh, and I just wanted to talk about all my movies because that's what I always want to do, but I don't really have anyone that wants to listen. So hopefully someone is out there that uh, cares. <laughs> uh, so let's just start off with my recent purchases. Most of what you see here I have not seen yet. Um, they're just recent purchases. Um, I actually have a list of over 80, 80 something uh, movies that I own. That I have not gotten around to watching yet that go all the way back to uh, over a year that I've had and I still haven't watched so I kind of buy more than I watch which is probably not very good but that's just because I buy a lot uh, anyway uh, this is the first one Spartacus um, this was just kind of on sale um, I don't really know much about it, and I had no idea Stanley Kubrick directed this. Um, but I was very interested after I watched the trailer, and it was only four ninety nine, so I just went ahead and picked it up. So I'll, you know, who knows when I'll get around to that, but it's here. Uh, and then the next one is There Will Be Blood, which is also a movie I don't know a whole lot about. Um, I just know it has Daniel Day Lewis in it, and I've heard his performance. I mean. His performance in every movie you hear is the greatest ever. But this one in particular, I've heard that his performance is just outstanding. And I've actually never seen a movie with Daniel Day-Lewis in it. So maybe this is a good place to start. Um, I think it's about something to do with oil. But <laughs> That's about all I know. Um, maybe I'll review it. Who knows? Uh, Next one is Gandhi. Um, I also don't know a whole lot about this. I mean, there's not really that much to know, I'm, I don't think. Um, ben Kingsley, or Sir Ben Kingsley, as he likes to be called, uh, plays Gandhi. You know, it's the story of Gandhi. It's, like, super long. I don't know if I'm really looking forward to watching this movie just because I've always thought it looked really boring but at the same time it's kind of one of those movies that if you really call yourself a film fan you kind of just gotta watch at some point and it's a it's a good look to have it in your library I think um, so just went ahead and got that and the next one is Blazing Saddles and you know it might shock some of you but uh, I've actually never seen this one either. Um, I've got a lot of greats that I own that I haven't seen yet because I always like to wait for like the perfect scenario to watch these great movies because I want the ex first experience to be um, really positive. So anytime I'm like about to watch something, I have time. Uh, and then I just feel like, you know, I don't feel like I'm in the mood to really enjoy this, so I'll just keep putting stuff off forever. Um, I did that with The Godfathers, and I still haven't watched those. Uh, but yeah, Blazing Saddles, supposed to be super funny. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Uh, Full Metal Jacket. I actually just watched this for the first time uh, the other night, and um, it's kind of an interesting movie. I won't review the whole thing right now, but um, it's one of the few movies where you can really split it up into two halves like I've heard other people say that too where like the first half of the movie feels like a very different movie than the last half of the movie um, and if anything I prefer the first half but I understand the second um, A Beautiful Mind um, there's, I don't have much to say about this one I haven't seen it yet again um, but yeah, it's, you know, 
uh, what's his name? What's his name? Russell Crowe. Uh, he's a you know super good actor. So, and I've heard a lot about this movie for a long time, and it was on sale, so I figured I'd pick it up. Kind of the same story with Pan's Labyrinth. I don't know much about it, but I've heard it's good. Um, and I'm not too good with subtitled movies, just because I feel like I can't read fast enough sometimes, and I prefer to have my eyes on the action and not down below uh, where the words are, because um, I feel like I'm just missing the whole movie, which is why I'm watching the movie, is to watch it, not miss it. Um, but I've, from what I've kind of gathered, I haven't really heard this, but maybe I'm just assuming, but I've watched the trailer and I've watched a couple of clips, and it seems like there's not a whole lot of dialogue anyway. There's a lot of like longer silent moments, um, and just from what I've watched, it kind of seemed like an easy watch to me. Um, so I figured that's a good, good one to try, um, for the subtitled movies. And now we have Chariots of Fire. I've seen this once, uh, many years ago. Um, I would say many years ago. I'm only 21, so can't be that long ago, but probably at least 10 years ago since I've seen that. Um, but yeah, I'd like to see it again. I remember it being really great. Uh, and then I got the Kill Bill movies. I got those in a bundle. Um, in a bundle deal together for 10 bucks so I figured that was a pretty good deal and uh, me and a friend of mine are going through um, all of all of um, Quentin Tarantino's movies uh, and I think these ones are going to be next up on the list to watch because neither of us have seen them yet uh, The Shining, I love The Shining um just, you know, everyone knows The Shining, so I don't really need to talk about that. Uh, Gran Torino, just watched that for the first time the other night. I really liked it. Terminator Dark Fate. Um, you know, funny story about this one. I, I really enjoyed it in the theaters because, uh, <clears throat> Prior to having seen this in the theaters, I watched Terminator. <coughs> Prior to having seen this in the theaters, I had watched the first and second Terminator movie uh, movies, and I really enjoyed them. And I was uh, really turned on to the fact that this one was ignoring all of them past the second one and just pretending to be the third installment to the second one which appealed to me because I've heard nothing but bad stuff about the other Terminator movies so I figured hey great I'll skip those ones and go right to this new one um, and I enjoyed this one in the theaters um, so I bought it recently and I have a totally different opinion on it now. It's uh, not very good. <laughs> I think the theater experience made me think it was better than it was. Um, but yeah, it's, it's kind of lame and I won't go all the way into it right now. Uh, but then you see all these, uh, the story of film movies. Um, I've, I'm only on I'm about halfway through part three right now, but this is a five part documentary series. All of them are a little over three hours long. So there's a lot of content right here, um, but they're done by a guy called uh, Mark Cousins. Um, and it's literally like this first chapter is about the birth of cinema. Um, 
and it literally goes all the way back to the, to the beginning of film, um, like the first feature length movie, the first movie star, the first person to ever use a close up, the first use of editing of any kind, the first time an actor turned their back to the camera. Um, it was, it's very detailed. Um, I've heard some people complain about the narrator's voice in this. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just voiced by Mark Cousins. Um, and I honestly, I, I know what they're talking about with the guy's voice, but I'm just kind of more interested in what he's talking about rather than how he's saying it. Um, so it doesn't really bother me all that much. But if you're interested in film history, these would be a good watch. At least the first one. I would watch at least the first one. Um, I can't tell you anything about these ones yet because I haven't seen them. Um, but yeah, those are uh, lots of information in those. Uh, then I got the Godfather movies. Haven't seen those yet. Uh, they Shall Not Grow Old, the Peter Jackson documentary where he restored old World War... I think it was... I can't remember if it was World War One or Two um, footage. Um, honestly, I was really excited for this documentary, but it was kind of boring to me, and I actually ended up not finishing it. I had like 30 minutes left, and I just kind of tapped out because it was really boring me. Um, sorry. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. And then Hook. It's a kind of similar story to Terminator. I saw it a long time ago when I was a kid. Really liked it. Thought I still liked it. Bought it. Watched it recently. And, uh, I, uh, I don't think it's a very good movie. Sorry. Again. Uh, The Big Blue. Um... I can't really explain this movie. <laughs> I just have it. It's just called Big Blue. Um, and I haven't watched it yet, so I don't really know. Uh, and the Philadelphia Story. Another movie that I know is... Uh, um, I think it's considered a classic. One of the, one of the great classics. Um, but other than that, I don't know much about it. Uh, now let's go into just the full catalog. I'm going to try to speed through these and not go into depth on every single one of them. Um, Age, of La Age of Adeline, I really enjoy that movie, watch it every now and then. All About Eve, great movie, um, you should watch it, definitely. American Beauty, another great movie, um, of course it has a little baggage with it now because of the whole Kevin Spacey thing, but for whatever reason, I'm able to overlook all that for this movie. Um, just, I don't know why. I just, I'm able to watch this movie and not think about it being Kevin Spacey in it. Um, but, you know, Kevin Spacey is a really good actor. You know, doesn't excuse anything that he may or may not have done. Uh, in his private life, but, you know, Kevin Spacey is a really, really great actor. Um, American Psycho, just saw that for the first time. Very interesting movie. Uh, it's definitely a movie you could talk a lot about. Lots of room for theories and things like that. Anchorman, uh, I don't think Anchorman is all that funny, actually. Uh, it's kind of one of those movies where I I bought it trusting everyone's opinion and uh, and uh, I shouldn't have <laughs> I mean it's alright it's fine but it's not like super um, super funny to me now we've got Annihilation actually I skipped Angels and Demons uh, Angels and Demons is, of course, part of the Dan Brown book series that was turned into the movies directed by Ron Howard, uh, Da Vinci Code, Angels and Demons, and Inferno. 
I have seen and own all three of them, although I really only like Angels and Demons. I don't love Angels and Demons, but I like it okay. I didn't really like Da Vinci Code, um, and Inferno was all right. Annihilation is kind of a strange movie. Um, I didn't really know what I didn't really know what to think about it when I first watched it. Um, Another Earth. This is one of the first movies I ever bought, actually. Um, uh, it's about. You know what? I'm just going to show what I have instead of talking about every single one of them. Um, so it's Another Earth, Apocalypse Now, have not seen that yet. Aquaman, it's a pretty solid movie in my opinion. Not the greatest, but it's alright. Uh, Argo, I didn't like Argo as much as I thought I would, but it's here. Armageddon, um, I love Armageddon, and I don't care what you say. I don't love it as a great movie, I love it as a perfect, like, dumb action movie that makes no sense, but it has so much heart in it that I can't help but, um really get into it it's so it's like dumb and really heartfelt so it's kind of got me there uh avengers infinity war i don't need to say anything about that you all know that one uh, august Rush, good movie atlantis the lost continent uh that was a okay movie arrival uh i know a lot of people like this movie um, I've only seen it once, so maybe I need to see it again. I didn't quite get it. Um, and, which, you know, if you don't really get a movie like that, it's hard to like it. So it's... I don't really have an opinion about this movie yet, because I kind of just need to see it again to really see what I think about it. Uh, then we got The Bad and the Beautiful from... Night... 1953 um, I got a lot of old movies um, and I have not seen this one yet it's a common theme in my library I do watch movies trust me I do watch them I just have a huge backlog of movies I have purchased and have not watched yet uh, now we have Badlands I believe this was Terrence Malick's very first movie, um, and I quite enjoyed it. It's a very um, different kind of movie, but you got Martin Sheen and Sissy Spacek in it, and they're really good. Um, Batman Begins, Beasts of the Southern Wild. I don't think enough people know about this movie, but it's literally one of my favorite movies ever. Um, I just love it so much, so uh, I'm not going to go all the way into it, but definitely check it out. And just the score alone is worth a listen, even if you don't watch it. But if you listen to the score, you'll want to watch it, because that's exactly what happened to me. Uh, we got Big, Ben-Hur, have not seen that yet. Begin Again is... Uh, it's not a very good movie. Uh, uh, again, Beautiful Mind, Big Blue. Big Fish, I love Big Fish. Big Lebowski, Big Short. have not seen Big Short yet. Blade Runner, Black Klansman, Birdman, Big Sick. Great romantic comedy. Uh, I've got the original theatrical version of Blade Runner and the final cut version. I have not seen the final cut. I have seen the original, um, but I got the theatrical and the final cut and 2049 all in a bundle together. Um, so that's why I have all three of them. I 
haven't watched this one yet though so I've got to do that uh, Blue Velvet I have not seen this yet but I believe it's either David Fincher or Daniel Lynch I always forget or David Lynch was it Daniel Fincher yeah I always forget their names are too too similar uh, but yeah David Lynch um, so it's another movie I gotta watch Bridge on the River Kwai not seen this one yet um, but I've been told it's super good Braveheart super good Boys Town what year is this from I forget 1938 wow that's a lot older than I thought it was I thought it was from the 50s but yeah 1938 I have not seen that yet but it looked good Bonnie and Clyde Casablanca still have not got around to seeing Casablanca I've been trying to see that forever and somehow have just not gotten around to it uh, Castaway Cat on Haunted Roof that's another great movie Chappie I know a lot of people didn't like Chappie um, of course it was the third of the kind of unofficial trilogy um, we had District 9 Elysium and then Chappie and honestly I'm kind of the opposite to most people most people like they they love District 9 they think Elysium is okay and they hated Chappie and I'm like pretty much the opposite I love Chappie Elysium is okay and I really just didn't like District 9 I think mostly I mean, it wasn't even like because of quality or anything um, it was just more disturbing to me so I don't know maybe I'll watch it again at some point I do own all three of them because I got them in a bundle because it was actually cheaper because all I wanted was Chappie but the bundle of all three of them was actually cheaper than just buying this one all on its own so I just went ahead and got them um, but yeah I like Chappie uh, Christmas Horror Story. I thought that was going to be a lot like funny bad than it was. I thought it was going to be like one of those terrible hilarious movies but it was just kind of a like it was trying to be that but it was actually just bad and not really that funny. Um, Cheap by the Dozen, Charlie and Chuckle Factory, Citizen Kane, Clueless, Colossal, I did not like Colossal, thought it was a bad movie, um, I don't know, I've never even heard anybody talk about this movie, so I don't even know what the general consensus is or was, um, but I didn't like it, uh, Cool Hand Luke, of course I gotta own that, cause my name's Luke, um, but that's a good movie, uh, Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises, Dances with Wolves, I still haven't seen that, uh, there's Da Vinci Code. Uh, I got The Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. That's a really good movie. Days of Heaven. I believe that's another Terrence Malick. I either forget. Terrence Malick or Peter Weir. That's, yeah, Terrence Malick. This is also one of his first movies. Um, I kind of went through a phase where I was trying to get all of Terrence Malick's movies and all of Peter Weir's movies because their directing style was just interesting to me and I wanted to kind of delve into their filmographies uh, and then we got Dead Poets Society Deadpool 2 Deepwater Horizon The Devil Wears Prada Dirty Dancing District 9 Drive Dr. Strangelove or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb. Uh, I have not seen that one yet, but I'm very intrigued by it. And I'm kind of on a Stanley Kubrick kick right now, so I'm definitely going to get that under my belt um, here pretty soon. Don John. This was Joseph Gordon Levitt's debut or directorial debut. Um, it's I think it's a very good little personal movie um and i've seen it a couple times so i really enjoy it it's really 
I mean, to me, it's not really the movie that was advertised because it, it's kind of advertised as a rom-com. And to me, it's not really that because I just kind of look at it deeper than that. But, all right, then we got Django. Uh, that's a great movie, by the way. Uh, Driving Miss Daisy, E.T., The Edge of Seventeen, Electric Boogaloo in the Wild, Untold Story of Canon Films. Uh, that's a pretty interesting documentary about uh, Canon Films. It was an independent movie studio. Uh, Escape from Alcatraz, that was a fun watch. The Endless, I hated this movie. I thought it was terrible. And so I went online to see what everybody else thought, and I heard nothing but positive things about it, so maybe I'm just weird. Um, and I had no idea what they were talking about, because to me, it was a terrible movie. And it looked really interesting from the trailer. Um, but... And so I bought it because it was cheap, and now I own it forever, and I can't get rid of it, uh, and I think it's terrible. So that's the story of The Endless for me. Uh, Empire of the Sun, Elysium, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. That's a great little kind of mind tripper. Uh, the Family Man, Fantastic Mr. Fox, The Farewell, Fight Club, Fiddler on the Roof. Fearless, Fast Color, didn't really like Fast Color that much. Fistful of Dollars, have not seen that yet. Float Like a Butterfly, thought it was going to be better than it was. The Florida Project, that's a pretty good movie. Uh, for a few dollars more, haven't seen it yet. The Fountain, I don't think a lot of people like The Fountain, but I really enjoy it. Um, I just kind of like trying to figure out what it all means. It's a very very uh, kind of out there movie it's almost it's almost like as weird as like a 2001 a space odyssey or something um maybe even weirder uh or stranger oh we got forrest gum ford v ferrari ford v ferrari was my favorite movie of 2019 uh for whom the bell tolls um I don't really know anything about this movie. I haven't seen it yet, but it looks good and it's old. And I believe it has, uh, what's his name? Oh, not who I was thinking, Gary Cooper. I was thinking of uh, Jimmy Stewart. Uh, the Fugitive and then 19, 1947 version of The Fugitive. Uh, Full Metal Jacket, Funny Face, The Giver. Um, I really enjoyed The Giver. It's not like a great movie like my family thinks it is. Um, but it's a pretty good movie and we read the book in school so um, it was cool to see it come to life. Uh, Gattaca, that's a pretty good um, I think it was in the 80s. Maybe it was 90s. Um, uh, Sci-fi movie uh the game the game okay you should watch the game if you have never seen a movie with nine plot twists um, that's all i have to say about that gladiator i mean nothing else to say about that it's gladiator man uh godfather one and two uh gone baby gone Gone Girl, Gone with the Wind. I have not seen Gone with the Wind yet because I just have to put aside four hours. Good Will Hunting, Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. I have seen this once. Um, it's been a little bit now, um, but I think I need to watch it again because my first experience wasn't very good. So I really don't feel like I have a strong stance on this movie yet. Uh, the Great Escape. I keep wanting to watch this movie. Gravity. Gravity is, I, I think, is a perfect film. I don't think it's the best movie ever, but I do think it is one of the few perfect movies. Like, there's literally nothing wrong with it that I can see. Everything just makes sense. It's short. It's tight. It's sweet. It's cool. It's emotional. It's um, suspenseful. 
it's it's a really fun ride. Um, so the Gravity is a really good movie. Uh, the Graduate, Greta Showman, Green Book, Green Mile, Groundhog Day, uh, Hearts of Darkness, The Filmmaker's Apocalypse. That's a documentary movie about the making of uh, Apocalypse Now. Uh, of course, infamously, the shoot of that movie was just the worst. Um, but I haven't watched Apocalypse Now yet, so I'm waiting to watch uh, this documentary until after I see it. Um, the Hateful Eight, that was a good movie. Uh, Harriet, I thought that was a good movie. I know it kind of got some um, mixed reviews. Hacksaw Ridge, that's a really good movie. Heaven Can Wait. Her high society which is actually a, a remake of the philadelphia story um but i have not seen either yet and i actually got this before philadelphia story because i didn't realize this was a remake of it um yeah they were doing remakes way back in 1956 so it's not just today um i got the hobbit movies uh i'm kind of indifferent about owning these i don't I uh, like them all that much. I don't really know why I got them. But they're here. Uh, Hot Rod. Uh, that's my favorite comedy. I think it's the funniest I, I've ever seen. Comedies are kind of hit and miss for me. But this one definitely hits. You should give it a watch. It's, it's pretty fun. Uh, Infinity Chamber. That's a little indie film. That I've never heard anybody else talk about. Um... It has like no reviews or anything <laughs> but I actually quite enjoyed it it's about a guy stuck in a room with a um, computer system with a voice and it kind of is like the 2001 a space odyssey a little bit but not like weird it's just because of the talking computer and computers malfunctioning and stuff uh, Inferno Independence Day I killed giants I quite enjoyed I killed giants uh, it's a mad, 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 mad world. That is truly a mad, 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 mad movie. Um, it's uh, it's pretty bonkers. It's like basically all car chase, the whole movie. It's kind of like the first Mad Max Fury Road. Uh, it's a Wonderful Life. Of course, it's a great movie. John Wick, John Wick 2, Jojo Rabbit. Journey to the Center of the Earth, Welcome to the Jungle, Jumanji, uh, Kick-Ass, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, King's Speech, got the Kill Bill movies, La La Land, I really like La La Land, and I've kind of been noticing more and more that I'm kind of alone on that. Like, it, I didn't realize at first how divisive or divisive, however, we, however you want to say it, uh, this movie was because I only know one other person that really likes it um, and everyone else I've showed it to didn't like it so yeah but I love it Lady Bird uh, the first time I saw Lady Bird I thought it was okay the second time I really liked it and uh, I don't know if I've seen it a third time or not but I'm really growing to appreciate this movie more and more um, The Last Black Man in San Francisco See, this is another one of those movies that I have only heard good things about. And people just kept saying, it's so good, it's so good. And I watched it. And I just really didn't get into it. I kept waiting for something to happen. But nothing really did. And it was just, it kind of got weird. And I don't know, it wasn't for me. I didn't, I didn't really like it. Last Christmas, um, don't laugh. This is not a movie that I actually bought. My family bought it on one of their devices that was logged into my account without asking me, and so now it's in my library. Um, I tried to watch it, and I couldn't get through it because it's so bad. Um, but yeah, so that's that's here now forever, so thanks for that. Uh, Leap of Faith, that's a really good movie. 
Um, it's got a great score too, except I can't find the score anywhere. Um, I don't think it was released, so I can't find it anywhere outside of the movie, which is unfortunate because I would definitely listen to it all the time. Lawrence of Arabia, that's another one of the big sweeping epics that I have not seen yet. Uh, the Last Starfighter, um, that is in desperate need of a remake, and it was an okay movie. Uh, the Last Man on Earth, Legally Blonde, Liar Liar, A Life in Waves, that's a really interesting documentary about Suzanne Chaney, who was the sound designer for a bunch of different like classic commercial sounds like the coca-cola commercials and and all these kind of like just super well-known sounds now she designed sound and even composed some music and it's just a documentary about her it's uh, pretty interesting uh, life is beautiful i've heard this movie is fantastic it is subtitled so i have to wait until i can until I know that I'm good at reading subtitles before I can watch this, but I've heard it's good. Um, Lord of the Rings, that's a fantastic movie. I mean, you all know that, right? Lord of the Flies, have I not seen that yet? Logan, uh, I think Logan is a little bit overrated. I know, shoot me. Uh, Lifeboat, that's an Alfred Hitchcock movie. We got the extended editions and regular editions of Lord of the Rings. Love Story, haven't seen it yet. Low Tide was good for most of it, but then it kind of went off the rails. Uh, a Lust for Life, uh, I have not seen this one yet either. It's about Vincent Van Gogh, as you can probably tell by the picture. Um, Making Waves, this is a really interesting documentary. If you love sound design in movies, you should definitely watch this documentary because it's all about sound design and the importance of sound. And sound is like one of the last things that I think about generally um, when I watch movies. But this movie made me a lot more aware of just how in-depth just the sound creation of movies is. It's pretty crazy. Uh, we got some of the Mad Max movies and this is a basically a it, it's not really a documentary it's just two hours of um interviews from the first mad max that wasn't included with this one i mean all this all the stuff in this should have just been included in special features for this one um but it wasn't it's just a separate thing but it's pretty interesting stuff in there man of steel i love man of steel um i think it's fantastic i know a lot of people don't like it i don't know why i think they're crazy as much as they think i'm crazy for watching it or for liking it uh, but yeah manchester by the sea have not seen that yet haven't seen manhattan yet haven't seen godfather yet me before you it's a good movie matchstick man's a good movie have not seen Master and Commander yet. Mary Queen of Scots, that's a good movie. Mean Girls, gotta have Mean Girls. Uh, I've heard about I heard about this movie for so long before I watched it, um, but and I really didn't understand like when people talked about watching this movie over and over again all the time. But I get it, I really do. It's uh, it's very rewatchable. Uh, Miracle on 34th Street, uh, Mississippi Burning, A Monster Calls, uh, The Mouse and the Motorcycle, that's just kind of something from childhood that I was able to find on iTunes, uh, Moulin Rouge, have not seen that yet, haven't seen Moonstruck yet, Moon is a pretty, uh, pretty good movie, Mr. Holland's Opus, The Mule, My Name is Emily, that's a good movie, have not seen My Week with Marilyn yet. Night at the Museum, The Nice Guys, Mystic Pizza. It's kind of a strange title, I know. I have not seen it yet, so maybe it's terrible, maybe it's good, I don't know. Mystery Men, Nightcrawler, No Country for Old Men, 
North by Northwest, The Nun Story, The Omega Man, which is a remake of The Last Man on Earth, and actually Will Smith's movie um, I Am Legend is a remake of this remake. So that's kind of interesting. The Old Man and the Sea is like the most pop-up book movie I've ever seen. Um, it's a good movie. It's not really like a full movie. It's more of like a fable turned into a movie from 1958. But it's it's a good watch, I guess. Uh, Oklahoma. I've only seen parts of this f from childhood. But I haven't like sat down and like watched the whole thing in modern day yet. Um, oh brother, where art thou? On Golden Pond. I really like On Golden Pond. It's a good movie about death, I think. Yeah, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. That's a fun ride. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Pan's Labyrinth. Parks of Being a Wallflower. Peanut Butter Falcon. Patriot's Day, Paper Moon, The Phantom of the Opera, The Philadelphia Story, Pride and Prejudice, The Princess Bride, The Quiet Earth, Pursuit of Happiness, The Purple Rose of Cairo, Psycho, Raging Bull, Rambo, all the Rambo movies, every single one of them, Ringo, Rear Window, The Rewrite, The Revenant, Return to Me, Rebel Without a Cause, The Rise of Jordan Peterson, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, The River Runs Through It, Road to Perdition, and yeah, to do, to do. Shawshank Redemption is one of my favorite movies. Oh, and also here's another movie making documentary. Um, it's called Score, a film music documentary. And I'm a really big uh, musical score guy. So this was like just right up my alley. Um, it's super interesting. And I think even if you're not super well versed in the movie score world, um, you should definitely give this a watch if you're interested in movies at all. Because it's pretty interesting and really cool. Um, I haven't seen Schindler's List yet. School of Rock is cool. Secret Life of Walter Mitty is one of my favorite movies. Um, it's just really good to me. Uh, how many do we have left here? God. All right, almost done. We got the Sherlock movies side by side. That's another movie making documentary about the differences between film and digital and pros and cons of both. Uh, Sixteen Candles, The Sisters Brothers, Singing in the Rain, Silence of the Lambs, the Slumdog Millionaire, The Sound of Music, Spartacus, The Spirit of St. Louis, we got the Stan and Ollie and, uh, and these ones. Um, Stranger Than Fiction, which I watched for the first time uh, about a year ago, and I just loved it, and I I want to watch it again soon. Uh, Suicide Squad. Don't ask me why I have this. Uh, the Terminator, The Ten Commandments. I haven't got around to seeing that yet. Taxi Driver. Same thing there, and same thing with Sunset Boulevard. Uh, Terminator Judgment Day. Dark Fate. Terms of Endearment. Thank you for smoking. The Thin Red Line. Uh, the Mon Louise. Thor Ragnarok, Time Machine, Titanic, I haven't seen Titanic yet, uh, To Kill a Mockingbird, True Grit, The Trouble with Harry, Tropic Thunder, Top Hat, The Truman Show, The Ultimate Gift, Under the Skin, V for Vendetta, Vox Lux, which I not a, people, not a lot of people talk about, but I really like Vox Lux. Um, there's something about it. I don't know what it is. I just, I've seen it three or four times now, and I'm going to continue to watch it over and over again. I just love it. Uh, the Void, Vertigo, Venom, 
War for the Planet of the Apes. I love the the whole new Apes trilogy. Um, I actually just had a movie night series where we watched all those, so they're pretty fresh in my mind, and they're just as good as I remember them being. Um, but again, yeah, I don't really hear a lot of people talking about these for some reason. I really think they're it's a pretty underrated trilogy. Uh, Watchmen. I have not watched Watchmen yet. I know it's a pretty divisive movie, um, but you know we'll see what I think. The Way, The Way Back, Wayne's World. Have not seen Wayne's World yet. Uh, What's Eating Gilbert Grape. Haven't seen that yet. Uh, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. Haven't seen that yet. Uh, Love Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Won't You Be My Neighbor. It's a great documentary. Uh, The Wizard of Oz. Witness. Wind River. Wonder. Wonder Woman. X-Men Apocalypse, X-Men Days of Future Past, Seventh Voyage of Sinbad, Zodiac, Yentl, Year of Living Dangerously. I haven't seen any of these three movies yet. (laughs) Um, But, yeah, they're just, uh, they're on the queue. Who knows how long they're going to be. Twelve Angry Men, it's just one of the one of the great movies I've seen it a couple times I I was in a film class and we watched that that was my first time watching it was in that class and and uh, it just really stuck with me so I own it and I'm glad to own it um, 12 years a slave this is my longest um, longest waiting movie for me to watch I've owned this for like two years and I still have never gotten around to watching it. And I don't know, like, when do you find time to watch a movie like 12 Years of Slave? I mean, because you know, it's kind of like Schindler's List, which I also haven't seen yet. Like, when do you just say, yeah, I think I'm going to watch Schindler's List tonight? Like, you might have been having a good day. You don't want to watch Schindler's List or 12 Years of Slave. I mean, come on. But, you know. Maybe someday. And then we got 2001 A Space Odyssey. Very, very strange film. Uh, But yeah, that wraps it up. All 319 movies. Uh, Maybe I'll keep doing some updates when I get some new recent purchases. um, And show you guys what else I've got but yeah let me know in the comments uh what you think of my library or um if you agree or disagree with anything i've said i would like to hear it because i want to talk about movies uh so yeah that's about it um so yeah see you in the next one